ASMR tag video. I was tagged by Crinkle Loving ASMR. Um, so I'll link her channel right in the top. Uh, if you don't know her, but of course you do. So, uh, so I guess basically, uh, you know, I think everybody by now knows the gist of the ASMR tag. There's 25 questions I'll be going through and answering. And uh, in the end, I will tag five other uh, people to join in. So, pull my phone here, and I have the questions uh, here on the list. Uh, question number one is, when was the first time you experienced ASMR? Uh, the first time, I don't think I remember, is my guess. Uh, the first time that I now, looking back on it, um, remember was second grade. Um, some days of the week, we would be um, on the floor, like sitting and listening to the teacher reading us a story. Uh, and it was actually the, not that we had, there was two um, second grade classes. And for some reason, we switched um, classrooms or we all went into one classroom and the other teacher read to us like certain days of the week and then other days of the week, the other teacher read or something. Um, but anyway, it was the other teacher. Um, and we were sitting, you know, on the rug, listening to her read a story to us. And uh, the story, um, I have no idea what the story was, but, uh, you know, sitting there listening to her read to us, uh, you know, I got the, the tingles down the back of the neck and the, that relaxing feeling. And I remember trying to replicate it. Um, like the next time she was reading to us, we're sitting there in the rugs, and I tried sitting like the same way. And, and I, 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 you know, obviously had no idea what was really going on, but, um, and, uh, but I remember trying to sit the same way and, and whatnot, trying to make it happen again. And sometimes I could get it to, it would, it would happen again. And I, you know, I remember at the, even at that age, trying to deduce what it was that was, um, triggering it. Um, so anyway, that's the, uh, first that I remember. Um, the next is, the next question is, when was the first time you watched an ASMR on YouTube? Uh, September 2012. <laughs> uh, I remember I was actually working with my father and uh, we were working at a house. He was, my father's a contractor and built houses and he, we were there and I was helping him out. Um, I only work four days a week, so on Fridays I was helping him out. Um, and uh, we were there and the radio, somebody had the, the radio was on and NPR was playing. And um, I'm sure some of you know, um, I believe you can find copies of that um, that show on YouTube or around. But there was an episode on NPR about ASMR. And I remember listening to it, you know, while I'm working, you know, and thinking, wow, I remember that from when I was little. And uh, so that night, getting after I got home, um, I remember getting on the computer and starting to search uh, for ASMR, which led me to YouTube. And I think they mentioned YouTube and they mentioned a couple people in the, in the article. I don't really remember all of it, but I remember it triggering me to want to search for it. And one of the first videos um, I remember watching was a video um, from Heather Feather. Uh, and she was, she had like five objects and then she would take the objects and, you know, she was showing us and there was, she was, you know, and, you know, it's got this intricate beating around the edge and whatnot and, and just, just kind of describing and, and that, that, you know, um, 
and uh, I remember it. And then, you know, going down the rabbit hole of YouTube videos, um, I think probably the next where I really stumbled upon it was um, Maria, Gentle Whispering. Uh, her video of it was like one of her first like relax relaxation clinic thing where she ended up laying you back and she's got the star um the starry ceiling and she's like pointing out the stars and stuff like that um i remember that the um so anyway that was um yeah september 2012. uh okay the next question uh What's your favorite unintentional ASMR video? I, I, I thought about this for a while and I can't think of one. Um, I, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I can tell you not an unintentional video, um, but uh, watching dramatic live performances. I think that's actually Frisian, which uh, to me, it doesn't seem any different than ASMR. So I know some people distinguish the two, but, um, the, the specifically where I notice it is shows, um, anybody that have ever watched, um, our family vlog channel, we go to Disney fairly often and, uh, watching the live performances on stage at Disney. Um, that's where I notice it a lot. Um, and the weird one for those of you that have been to, um, Hollywood studios, they don't have it anymore. Um, but they, they, I think they just got rid of it a year or two ago, but the car stunt show at Hollywood studios, um, I remember getting it there and thinking, wow, this seems odd to be getting ASMR when they're, you know, racing around with cars and having explosions and stuff. But anyway, it's a, for me, it's very visual. Um, okay. Uh, next question. Name the last five ASMR artists you watched. So what I'm going to do is open up YouTube and just look at my history and see what the last five were. Switch account, come on. I guess I should open this up ahead of time. Especially right now, because um, internet here at my house is horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Uh, how do you go to history on the phone? Oh wait, this way. You have to go to the library, right? Yep. So, last five ASMR artists. I'm gonna skip over the tag videos because I would watched a couple, I watched like Crinkle Lovins and a couple other ASMR tag videos just to get a feel for what everybody else was doing. Um, so the last five would be uh, Seal, a ASMR, that's C-I-E-L, um, her, this was just the other night, her, uh, she just did a, I think it was just yesterday maybe, uh, ASMR follow the light for one hour, I know, surprising, light, um, uh, next one is late night tingles ASMR, he's pretty good, uh, the next is Yvette ASMR, and I'll link all of these in the description. Um, but yeah, uh, so that last one was Yvette. Uh, and then... T uh, I know I'm going to pronounce it wrong. T uh, Tarar A. Duela. Mike. Uh, you all know him, I'm sure. Uh, and let's see... Lucky Rabbit ASMR. Um, he's really new, um, but he's I get I, I get a kick out of him. He's funny. Um, I like humor in my ASMR too. 
So if you can add a little humor into it, I like it. But um, yeah, and he, I get a kick out of him. He's kind of funny. Uh, so that's the last five. Let's get back to my questions. Um, and like I said, I'll link all them in the description. Actually, several of them are the people I'm going to be tagging. So, uh, next question is, what is your favorite ASMR trigger to listen to? Now, I think there's a little bias in these questions because I know for me, and I know for a lot of other people, ASMR is much more visual. Um, I don't listen. I only watch. Um, so I know a lot of people, um, tend to, you know, play ASMR videos on and stuff and just be listening to it or just, you know, um, but for me, it's the visual thing. So I don't listen. I only watch. And my favorite trigger, I think probably anyone that watches my channel knows is lights. Um, so it's definitely not a listening. Can I somehow make it so you can hear light? It's an idea for a video. Um, but yeah, so if I really, if I was just going to say, read, do exactly what's in the question and say, what's my favorite to listen to? It would probably be. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, like your the clothes moving or maybe. Maybe even the fingers. Um, I'm not sure. Like I said, for me, it's much more visual, like all the hands and uh, that type of thing and lights, definitely the lights. Um, so it says, so that's favorite to listen to. And then it says, what is your f least favorite trigger to listen to? And then it says, do it. Um, two. I have two least favorite. <laughs> um, and that is uh, mouth sounds and tapping. Uh, I've tried to do a few tapping videos. I think I can't do them because I don't get it because it doesn't work for me. Um, so, um, you know, it's that whole trying to please. Anyway trying to please multiple people with different videos and trying to, you know, broaden. But, um, I, I just don't, I don't get the tapping. I no offense to anyone. I know a lot of people love the tapping. It definitely, um, it has its place, you know, a little bit of tapping here and there in the video video that is just tapping. I won't even click on it. Um, a video that is a something else and it's got a little bit of tapping in it. That's fine. Um, as long as it's not drawn out um like you know if i were to like oh i'm gonna show you i'm gonna show you my phone here and and then i sit here and tap on it for two minutes no uh, that that um that, that kind of annoys me it's like yeah okay if you're doing a role play especially who you know i've never been to a doctor's office or anything where they sit there and tap on their clipboard for an hour um so anyway I know I'm probably annoying a lot of people with that. But. So I don't like the tapping. Um, and like I said, mouth sounds. I don't, I don't want somebody licking my ears. Um, and I don't want to listen to people eat. Um, I know that's another people like it, but, um, no, it's just not my thing. So, uh, so that being said, I'm not going to, you know, say to do those. I'm not going to do them. I kind of did the tapping a little bit, but, um, next one, do you use ASMR to relax or fall asleep? Um, not to fall asleep. I might watch them some before bed. Um, just because that's kind of my, where I got time where I can just kind of, and it's, and it's a, it is something that I can do before bed. Um, like I don't want to do it in the middle of the day as much. Um, but like at night when I'm getting ready to go to sleep, I might watch a little bit, um, more so because that's the time of day that I have available, not so much to fall asleep. I'm actually, I'm probably the opposite of most other ASMR artists. The 
you're going to talk to or listen to. Um, I know everybody tends to say they are insomniacs and can't ever sleep, and um, which uh, that that's that's why one of the reasons ASMR is great for a lot of people. Uh, for me, with no watching videos or anything, um, I track. I'm a big numbers guy. I like recording data, so I've had um, sleep for Android installed on my phone for years and years and years, so I've tracked my sleep for years. And um, my average time it takes me to fall asleep is like six minutes. <laughs> I know a lot of people are going to hate me now, but um, I usually have no problem falling asleep. I'm um, so. I, if anything, I use it to relax, um, and that's it. So, um, what is your bedtime routine? Probably not much different than anybody else's. Uh, you know, get ready. You know, brush teeth, go to the bathroom, all that stuff, um, and basically get in bed. And I sometimes will, you know, maybe play a game or something for a little bit uh, like I said before maybe watch a couple of videos and again that time you know that half an hour before I'm actually like ready to go to sleep um, where I'm just laying in bed watching something on my phone or doing something on my phone um, it isn't always ASMR videos uh, you know sometimes I'm watching other people's videos uh, you know like Casey Neistat or Roman Atwood or something like that. Um, but, uh, so, and then time to go to sleep, set my alarm, turn on sleep for Android, set it on my nightstand and go to sleep. What is your favorite trigger to do and do it? Oh, that's a really bright setting right now. There we go. But those of you that know me, I may have clicked on the video just for the chance that I was going to do this. Maybe you wanted it later. <laughs> um, so the question is, what is your favorite trigger to do and do it? Lights. And that being said, um, really one of the ones that really does it that I like is this type of one. All right, follow the light. And follow it all the way back, and then follow it all the way back in. That type of. You know, I'll make it a little brighter and do that again. You follow it all the way out. that back and forth that really does it um, for me what's well, that's one of the reasons I like to have my backdrop set really far back so I can do that you know I can, I, I can there's quite a ways quite a ways back there it's a couple steps back um, so I like having the space to do that um, and you'll notice I do that fairly often in my videos uh, so um, what is your least favorite trigger to do and do this too? You know, these questions seem very similar to the other questions, don't they? Um, but I guess the difference here is what is your least favorite, your favorite to do and your favorite, okay. Favorite to do and favorite, okay. Least favorite to do. All right, I guess I get the difference. So, that's still my favorite trigger to do. I like doing the lights for you guys. Um, what is your least favorite trigger trigger to do uh, and do this too least favorite trigger to do is as we said before the tapping just cuz I don't know it just it's weird for me I know 
don't think I'm good at it because I don't get it. So I don't think I'm doing it right or something. I, I don't know. Let me know. Um, how long is it, does it take you to make a video? All depends on the video. I think probably every ASMR artist that's done this tag video has probably said the same thing. It depends on the video. Um, Cause it depends the, the video, how much editing goes into the video is what, where the time is the, the actual recording of it for the most part, isn't that much. Um, like this, you know, or let me example of one of my most recent videos I did. Um, it was 30 minutes long when after edited and uploaded and, you know, went the, the final length. Um, the time to record it was probably 40 minutes. Um, there's, you know, a little bit at the beginning and it gets cut out, but for the bulk of the video, I don't cut a whole lot out of my videos. Um, I'd say the most part I cut out is maybe when I'm doing like the, you know, snapping my fingers and turning the light off. Um, it's all snap and then turn the light off and then come back to the frame and that type of stuff. So there's little, you know, 30 seconds here or there get cut out. But for the bulk of my videos, I don't edit them a lot. I don't cut a lot out. Um, I'm fairly lucky with noise where I am. Um, occasionally a car will drive by or something, but not often enough that I have to worry about it. So there's very little that I cut out. Um, so that, like I said, the recording of it is, is only a little bit longer than the actual video is. And then the editing time is essentially the same again. We're talking another, you know, cause you basically watch the whole thing and you're cutting the pieces out that you have to, or editing where you need to and whatnot. So probably another hour in editing. So, so you're looking at roughly two hours, um, for a half an hour video. Now that doesn't include any kind of setup or takedown. Luckily now I can kind of leave stuff set up for the most part out in the garage. Um, but yeah, and then you got upload time and stuff. And if I try uploading a video like that here at my house, 30 minute long video, it'd probably take six hours to upload. Yeah, roughly. Um, like I said, internet is awful. So a lot of times what I have to do is take them, um, take them to work and upload them at work. Upload at work, I have a, a decent connection there. So, um, but, and then, you know, you got making the thumbnail and the filling out the description, the tags and all that type of stuff. Um, so I'd say a typical 30 minute video, you're looking at probably all said and done three hours. So yeah. now you get into some of the other videos where you're adding layered effects in and like, um, like my, uh, fixing the Android video. The second one took me a lot longer because I added in like the layers of other people working in the shop around like sound effects and, uh, stuff like that. Just, uh, not a lot, but I did a little bit there. So I added some more time to it, that type of stuff. But anyway, all right, next question, number 12. Have you ever gotten tingles from your own videos? No. Um, I, I think I speak this, I think I, most people would agree um, that do this. Um, watching yourself is not the same. <laughs> um, I know Rachel mentioned if, um, she has from videos where she's not seeing herself, like she did one where she was drawing or something she th says, and she thinks she got it from that. Um, so I can, I get that where you're not, if I was doing just a light video and I couldn't see myself maybe, and I only saw the flashlight and I like maybe, um, but not that I know, uh, not that I remember ever. No. Um, and the next one, do you watch your own videos? I think, I think the same answer is pretty much everyone. No. <laughs> Um, other than during editing, final review to make sure you didn't miss anything, that type of stuff. Um, I don't purposely pull up my videos to watch them. No. What software do you use to edit? Uh, Premiere Pro CC. Uh, used to use something else. 
when I first started, I was using Power Director. I think that's what it was, Power Director 15, maybe? Something like that. I think I bought it on Amazon for like 50 or $60. Uh, that worked good, um, but uh, I started noticing, ba basically, any time I wanted to figure out how to do something, it was a lot harder to find tutorials for that and I could find lots of tutorials for Premiere. So that's when I was like, well, yes, Premiere costs more because that was like 60 bucks one time. Um, whereas Premiere's, you could get Premiere for 20, 20 a month. Um, or was it 10? No, it was 20, right? And I don't know, you could, you could buy just Premiere for a certain price or you pay roughly 50 a month and you get all of Adobe which is, um, you know, Premiere, After Effects, Lightroom, Photoshop, everything. Uh, element, you know, there's, there's a whole array of stuff that um, I don't use, but could if I need to. I do use, um, like I said, I use Premiere. I've used After Effects a little bit. Um, I'm starting to play with that a little more. I'm, um, yeah, I'm enjoying this whole throwing myself into video editing and kind of learning it. Um, so I've been playing with After Effects a little bit. I do use um, Photoshop and Lightroom um, for, uh, spe especially Lightroom for um, photos. Um, for those of you that don't know, I have an Instagram account. I do mostly nature photography, basically. I haven't really uploaded anything in a while, but if you want, links in the description, check it out. Um, so yeah, I use Premiere Pro. Uh, what time of day do you film? Right now it is quarter to ten, nine forty-five at night. Um, it varies all over the board. Um, sometimes uh, I'm out here at midnight, one o'clock in the morning, whatever, anytime. Um, and then sometimes I'm out here at eight thirty in the morning. Um, you know, it all depends on what else is going on. I think I'm going to have a fair shot of recording every Friday. For those of you that watch the vlog channel, you would know my youngest daughter's in school or just started pre-K and I drop her off like eight in the morning and I have to pick her up at 1050. So I have a couple hour window there two and a half hour window and on Fridays I don't have to work um, I only work four days a week so that fri on Fridays I don't work so I have that two hour window rough two and a half hour window on Friday mornings that I'm hoping I'm going to be able to record um, most ma majority of the time I think I'll be recording during that time um, the other time is on the weekends at, in, late at night after everybody else has gone to bed um, so What is your favorite video that you've made? I think my favorite video. I kind of liked. I kind of liked my um, working on the robot Android one thing. That was fun just because it was a different character. But I think my favorite is uh, you cracked your eye, just because. Just because it's different. <laughs> um, I got another. I got an idea for a video, and it's, I don't think anybody has ever done it before. And that's, I think, that's one of the hardest things for me is trying to find things that I can do that other people haven't done. Um, so anyway, um, that's why I like the character I want. It was just kind of oddball, just oddball enough. The majority of the video it really isn't, but just the general concept is you, how do you crack an eye um <laughs> oh, anyway um so i think that was one of my favorites just because it was fun um and then if you watch the bloopers of it because that sometimes i have in the past there for a while there i was cutting out when i was cutting things out if i you know made myself laugh during a video i would uh you know cut it out and i'd keep that so that cracked your eye one has a bloopers 
reel for it too and that was just fun um have one of your videos had an unexpected negative fan reaction i don't think so um i think most of them have been fine i haven't had done a video and everybody started screaming at me the majority of them are pretty good i mean you look through most of them very few dislikes so so far i've been okay nobody's really said i was you know never, nothing that i did was egregious yet yet um what video of yours do you think didn't get the love it deserved I, I i don't know i think all the ones that i really liked have done really well and i think that's a key is if i like it and i had fun making it then i think it'll probably do good um so i can't think of one that i thought i was really thinking oh man this was a really good video and then look at it later and go wow nobody nobody liked it um so I don't think I really have that um, yet. Uh, maybe some of the tapping videos. I mean, I, like I said, because I don't like them, I think that maybe that shows when I'm doing them somehow. People, I don't know if people pick up on that subconsciously or something. Um, but I think that's part. I Just because you see other people's tapping videos and they just... The number of views they get is crazy and uh, so I just ex you know I, and I think that's but anyway so maybe maybe those the chalk tapping one I think I kind of like that the sound that that chalk makes even though I don't like tapping that it's a very interesting sound is that it's the kids sidewalk chalk we're just tapping it together so if you haven't watched that one and you like tapping, go check it out. Uh, what's something the audience doesn't know about the behind the scenes of your channel? <laughs> I mean, I can show you around where I'm standing right now. What I'll do. I am recording a video, right? Yes, of you. If that's not weird enough, I don't know what is. Um, I'm currently using this camera. This one is still recording, so I can use the audio from those microphones just a temporary setup until I can figure out a better microphone setup and this is new for me I used to always record on this so I never had a display so you probably see me a lot in this video specifically looking at that display but anyway my very messy garage I think I need to take some soda cans back <laughs> um, and then I got the backdrop back there. Over here, all sorts. How many people in the video know what that round thing hanging on the wall is? Um, all sorts of junk. My plow. Just random, all sorts of junk in this room. Um, tools. Riding lawnmower. Tools. All sorts of stuff. So how's that for a behind the scenes? That's like literally behind the scenes. I don't know what else I could share. That would be interesting there. Um, even that wasn't really interesting. It just shows how messy my garage is. <laughs> but I did a speed cleaning of this in the vlog a while ago. That's why I have enough room here to stand right here right now. Um, but what's something the audience doesn't know about the behind the scenes of your channel? 
I, I can't think of anything else. Um, so, moving on. What's the most absurd request you've received from a fan? I don't... I haven't gotten any really absurd requests other than the guy that was emailing me for a while asked me to which wasn't necessarily an absurd request, but his approach at asking for it was. Um, basically kept asking for a full body exam video. And then when I was ignoring him because of the way he was asking it, and the other comments he was throwing in there, he asked if I would meet him to do one on him personally. Again, ignored that. <laughs> but that's the type of thing. Um, that you're going to deal with on the internet. Um, does your family and friends know you make ASMR videos? Yes, close family and friends do know. Um, I didn't tell them at first. It wasn't until, I think they've known for, I want to say maybe a year and a half-ish. Um, I, I want to say I had just right around, I had just hit maybe 4,000 subscribers when um, I basically told them. Anyway, they all laugh at me and think it's funny and whatever. I think, I mean, anyone that knows me and knew me, like uh, when my mother found out, uh, she told dad, and dad was like, yeah, sounds about right. <laughs> so, anyway. Yeah, family and friends know. Uh, have you ever been recognized in public? No. <laughs> uh, what inspires your video ideas? Uh, I don't... I don't know. Um, some of them I just come up with. Um, I would say the bulk of it probably comes from watching other uh, people, other videos, and going, hey, that's that little tidbit of their video was a good idea for a video, I can expand that little piece and turn it into something else, or try to. Or, you know, that's, I think that's how all creators, for the most part, um, whether we consciously know that, hey, I'm watching this other person's thing, or I'm seeing this other person, other thing happening, I'm going to use that idea. Or if it's subconscious in the aspect of, I saw that six months ago, and my brain just brings it back up to the point of, hey, maybe you should do this. Um, I think that's how all creative stuff happens. Um, so, um, additionally, I have created a little form, link is in the description for it, uh, where you can fill out if you have video suggestions, video ideas uh, that you would like to see me do go fill out that form. I'm trying to keep everything like organized better so I can try to keep track of um, of doing videos because that's the that's the one problem I know I personally have had um, that's part of why I kind of took a year off basically um, is the whole oh I got an hour and a half right now I could go film something it's like what and I, I got to the point where I felt like I was just like picking up the flashlight and shining at the camera every time and it was the same thing over and over and I wanted new I wanted something different I was trying to and even though my last couple new vi videos are basically the same I am at least I have several videos um, that I'm organizing myself better with this is the video this is what it's about these are the props I need you know, and trying to keep track. And so I got a bunch of video ideas. I got a bunch of um, all that laid out. It's like, which one do I have? I have all the props for this one. I know what I'm going to do. I can record that one. So I'll, I have a plan moving forward when I go, because I said it's kind of random when I can record. If I suddenly have a, oh, there's a two-hour window where I can go record something. Look at my list and go, that's the one right there because I have everything I need. I can do that one right now. So, um, like I said, there's a form. If you have video ideas, at least I can get it onto my list of planned videos. 
where do you find yourself spending the most time online? YouTube <laughs> and Amazon. Uh, a lot of times I just scroll through Amazon looking at things and, and going, oh, that's an idea for some project, which I have too many, too many, too many, too many projects. Um, and, uh, yeah, so YouTube and Amazon basically, um, what advice would you give to someone who wanted to make their own ASMR content? I don't know. I think probably based on my experience for the little while I've been doing it, um, figure out what you like and what you like to do and do that. As I said before, you know, I tried doing tapping videos and it doesn't, it doesn't work for me. It doesn't work for my channel. It, it isn't me. So the lights work. That's, uh, you know, that's me apparently because that's what I like and what I know. So that's what I'm do. Um, and, uh, you can still fill, bring other things into that. Um, Anyway, so that's that's really my advice. Be you. Uh, and have thick skin. Ignore those comments. So, it looks like my battery's going to die. So I'm going to try to finish this up quick. Maybe I'll have to recut it back in. Uh, so the people I'm going to tag, and the, all the tags will be in the description. Uh, Late Night Tingles ASMR. Lucky Rabbit ASMR. Seal ASMR. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. C-I-E-L. Uh, Wolfden ASMR and Marshall ASMR. Um, I try to do a couple things on my list. People I've watched and know and I'm subscribed to and like and two that probably haven't been tagged by anybody yet. So hopefully uh, that works. Um, see you all next time. Bye.